بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Welcome to Simplified Anatomy In this video I will discuss the radiological anatomy of GIT Starting from plain x-ray, barium swallow, barium meal, barium follow through, and barium enema I am Dr. Mus'ab Salah al-Din, lecturer of anatomy and embryology department, Mansoura University Starting by plain x-ray At this film this is plain x-ray film showing the bones by white color, the soft tissue by gray color, and the gases by black color. This is the vertebral column ending by the sacrum. On each side are the hip bone or pelvic bone, and in between this is called sacroiliac joint. These are the ribs, and this white shadow for the diaphragm, and this is the gas in the ascending colon, and this is the gas in the stomach. On each side of the vertebral column, there is a shadow for the psoas major muscle. If you see this line, this is the lateral border of the psoas major muscle. This shadow for the left kidney and this for the right one. This is the area of the liver in the upper right side and this is the area of the spleen in the upper left side. To simplify these shadows, we can see this diagram. This area for left kidney and this area for right kidney. This is ascending colon and the gases inside it. This area for the liver and this area for the spleen. This is the gases in the stomach and on each side of the vertebral column, a shadow for psoas major muscle. To see the hollow organ, the patient must swallow dye, so we do x-ray with dye. To visualize the GIT, the patient swallow barium sulfate, which is the substance that help us to see the hollow organ more clearly. So, the patient swallow the barium solution, and the film is taken during swallowing is called barium swallow. When the dye reach the stomach, it is called barium meal. When the dye reach the small intestine, the film is taken is called barium follow through. This barium looks white on x-ray film, it lined the cavity of the GIT. So, to visualize the esophagus, the film is taken during swallowing of the patient. And to visualize the stomach, the film is taken when the dye reach the stomach. This film is called barium meal. To visualize the small intestine, the film is taken when the dye reaches the small intestine from 15 to 2 hours. This film is called barium follow through. To visualize the large intestine, the dye is injected through the anal canal. It is called barium enema. At first, barium swallow. If you see a longitudinal tube, it is called barium swallow. This is the esophagus. There is normal indentation of the esophagus by the surrounding structures A for aortic arch, B for the left main bronchus, and this area for left atrium. So, this also is barium swallow. If you see a longitudinal tube, this is barium swallow for the esophagus. And also, this is lateral view of the esophagus, barium swallow. There is indentation for aortic arch, for left main bronchus, for left atrium. Also, the esophagus is narrow as it passes through the right cross of the diaphragm. This film also is the barium swallow. This indentation for aortic arch, for left main bronchus, for left atrium. After that, the barium reaches the stomach. It is called barium meal. The dye fills the cavity of the stomach except the fundus which appear black and also pass through this narrow area it is narrowed by thickened smooth muscle which is the bilorus. So the dye pass through this narrow area appear white and the smooth muscle appear gray in color. And this is called first part of the duodenum or appear as cap of the stomach so it is called duodenal cap or duodenal bulb. This is the fundus body, lesser curvature of the stomach, greater curvature, and this bulge is biloric antrum, opposite the incisora angularis or angular notch. This is bilorus, and this is duodenal bulb or duodenal cap. And then descending part of the duodenum, or the second part of the duodenum. 
Another film is Barium Meal. This is Fundus of the Stomach. This is Body of the Stomach. This is Byloric Antrum, Lesser Curvature, and Opposite to it, Greater Curvature. This gray color is the Bylorus. And this is Duodenal Bulb or Duodenal Cap or First Part of the Duodenum. This is Second, Third, Fourth Part of the Duodenum. And this is Vertebral Column. Another film, which is Barium Meal also. Number one is the Oesophagus. Number two is Body of the Stomach. Number three is Fundus. Number four is Byloric Antrum. Number five is Lesser Curvature opposite to it. Number six is Greater Curvature. Number seven is Duodenal Bulb or Duodenal Cab. First part of the Duodenum. And number eight, which is a narrow white line, which is called Bylorus. And the smooth muscle appear green color. This is Bylorus. And number nine is Vertebra. When the dye reaches the small intestine, it is called barium follow through. Follow the dye through the intestine. This part of small intestine is called jejunum, the upper part, and this is the ileum. So the type of this film is barium follow through. The jejunum appear corrugated because its mucosa has more circular fold as we see in this diagram. So the mucosa is irregular so it is called connivent valves but the ilium is smooth from inside because it has less circular fold so it appear white in the x-ray to visualize the large intestine the dye is injected by a cannula through the anal canal to see parts of the large intestine this film is barium enema this is cecum ascending colon Hepatic flexure or right colic flexure, transverse colon, then splenic flexure or left colic flexure, descending colon, sigmoid colon or pelvic colon, and lastly rectum. Another film of barium enema, this is cecum, number one ascending colon, right colic flexure or hepatic flexure, number three transverse colon, number four left colic flexure or splenic flexure number five descending colon number seven sigmoid or pelvic colon and rectum number eight number six is vertebra good luck if there is any question you can contact me on my channel on youtube or my page on the facebook thank you very much